Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the new Dior Quint. This is number 609 in Silk Earth. This is the standard Dior Quint and I understand that this will be part of their permanent quints. It has a shelf life of six months just like their other ones. It is made in France and it has seven grams of of product. Now this quint I picked up from Harrods but it is also available now on the Dior USA site so I'll link both of those down below in the description box. There has been a couple of pictures of this on Instagram and comparing it to the Organza quint that Dior put out a while ago and I was never able to get my hands on the Organza quint so I can't really compare them but having a quick look at the photos I think this one has more of a copper tones and a deep brown whereas the other one the Organza quint to me from the photos looks like more of a tan brown and perhaps more of a pinky shade in there whereas this one has a rosewood shade. So here is the colour story of Silk Earth. I think she looks really really pretty and it's not in pristine condition because I did some swatches for Instagram and if I'm able I did those swatches and I took photos of them in natural light so if I'm able to when I'm editing I will put a clip of that up beside me here to my left so I'll do some swatches of this quint on my arm now now on the Dior website they describe this quint as a delicate blend of nude and copper shades and a dark rosewood so I'll start and how I'll swatch them is from left to right and top to bottom and I'll do the middle shade last so this is the first shade and this is a copper and it actually swatches quite well just the once but I will go over it again and next we have like a very light gold it's a champagne shade and that isn't as opaque as this one so this is probably more of a topper this is a satin and then next is a rose shade this is a satin as well this is really pretty it's rose with a bit of pink in there as well and then we have a brown this feels like a matte shade and then finally we have the middle shade and this is like a a taupe color it's darker than the shade here and this is I would say a satin so I've already got my foundation on and the powder I've done my eyebrows I've got some eyeshadow primer on, although I put it on a little while ago, so I might pop some more on in a minute. And I've also got bronzer on. So for the foundation is the Dior, it's the Capture Total, and it's winter here now in New Zealand, and I do have oily skin, but I'm finding this fabulous with my oily skin this time of the year. And the concealer is a Dior one too. It's the Forever Skin Correct. And then the bronzer is also a Dior one and this is in shade 05 Warm Bronze. And I'll show you what that shade looks like. This is a really beautiful bronzer. I love the formula of it. And you can see that the product has been well used. So I'm going to take my Refit number 14 brush and I'm going to start off with the darker shade down here, this brown. And I'm just going to put that all through the crease and bring it slightly above as well. Stay another minute, and let me hold you. You might be late for work, that's okay. Then I'm going to go into this lovely rose coloured shade. This is the Rafa number 12 and I'm going to put that on the outer part 
Then I'm just going to take, this is the Sony G, this is the Blender Pro, and I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going to take the Raffa number two, and I'm going to go into this copper shade, and I'm going to put that over the rest of my lid. I'm going to put a little bit through here as well. Every day I get to know you And all your flaws are nothing to change I love it when you wake up Freckles with no makeup I just want to take up all your time And, and then I'm going to go into this middle shade And I'm going to go over that copper colour I'm going to take the refer number three and go back into the darker shade and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line and I'll probably add just another colour just through here as well. And I've just wiped down the refer number three and I'm just going to go into this colour here and I'm going to add a little bit of that just through here. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the pencil one, and I'm going to go into this lightest shade here and just add a bit of highlight to the inner corner. So I think that all these colours are looking really, really pretty. I am going to put on an eyeliner and I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury one. So I'll put on some eyeliner and then some mascara and then I'll be back. So for the mascara, I used my favorite Chanel one, but everything that I'm putting on my face today, I will have linked in the description box below. So this is the finished look, and I think it's really, really pretty. It's quite interesting, put on the copper shade and then the topper over the top, and it brings it more to like a golden shade. And I do love this rosewood colour in here. I think it's really lovely. And the browns are really beautiful too. And this blended really beautifully. It is a really lovely formula. And that highlight is enough to highlight the inner corner of the eye as well. It's really, really pretty. So now I'm going to put on some blush. I've got a dual one here. This is number 459 and it is Chanel. So I'm just going to grab my Chocohodo. This is the F03 brush and pop some of this on. I'll probably put some highlighter on today as well. I bought this blush only just a little while ago, probably about six or eight weeks ago. And I think it is a really beautiful colour and I thought it would go <laughs> nice with this eyeshadow. And for the highlighter, I've got a Dior Luminizer. This is in pink glow. And I love these luminizers. I think they're really pretty. They give a highlight, but they blend really beautifully. And it's not a wet look for a highlight. It is sort of more subtle, but they blend just so well. And they are fantastic for mature skin as well because they don't emphasize the texture that I have. And for lipstick, I'm going to use number 100. This is a nude look. This is in the metallic formula. So here is the finished look, and I think this is a really pretty quint from Dior. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, I was never able to get my hands on the Organza quint, but now that I've put it on, and from the videos that I have seen with the Organza one, I think they are quite different. As I was saying, I think the Organza throws more. It has sort of like a tan top brown in it, and this shade here looks more pinky in the Organza Quint, whereas here 
it is quite more of how they explain it, it is a rosewood color it does throw more red but I think altogether it is really really lovely these blended really beautifully as with the other Dior quince that I own it's really really gorgeous and I love it how with that copper shade and the top shade put over the top it makes it more of a gold I think altogether it looks really really lovely and I love the Chanel blush I know that's been around a long time but it's a recent purchase of mine and I think it's really pretty and the luminizers always just look absolutely gorgeous and I love the nude look metallic lipstick and even though I don't often or own that many sort of brown lipsticks I love this one because of the metallic in it it just lifts it and it doesn't look so flat on the lips I think it looks really really pretty so overall I'm really pleased that I picked up this quint I think it's really gorgeous it's probably more of a fall look more than a summer look and if you stick with the reds and do the copper over the top and then the topper and then it makes it into that gold shade it almost goes towards a holiday look I think it's really really pretty so I'm thrilled that I picked it up and I can add this to my collection so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.